China has appeared as an issue in Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate race between Democratic incumbent Bob Casey and Republican challenger Dave McCormick. One of the claims the Casey campaign has been making is that McCormick invested in China's military. Here it is. As a Wall Street CEO, he ran the number one foreign hedge fund in China, pouring money into companies that build missiles and bombers for China's military. We'll check this claim, but first, you'll need some background. Dave McCormick led a hedge fund in Connecticut called Bridgewater Associates. He was co-CEO starting in 2017, then CEO in 2020. Bridgewater filed these federal disclosure forms, which are required by the U.S. Department of Labor, and through them, we can see where some of the hedge fund investments were made. In 2020, when McCormick was CEO, we found Bridgewater made hundreds of thousands of dollars in investments in subsidiaries of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC. The U.S. Department of Defense says AVIC designs and produces China's military aircraft, including the future H-20 flying wing stealth bomber. Now let's check the claim about the Chinese missiles. Also in the hedge fund disclosure forms, News 8 found investments Bridgewater made in 2019 in Asino Core. That's a subsidiary of the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corps, or CASIC. A U.S. commission that reviews relations with China says CASIC is China's largest missile designer and manufacturer. Remember, the claim we're checking is that the hedge fund Dave McCormick led poured money into companies that build missiles and bombers for China's military. The documents we showed you show those investments were made when McCormick led Bridgewater Associates. So we labeled the claim as true. A little more on this though. Both former President Trump in 2020 and President Biden in 2021 sanctioned the Chinese companies we highlighted, citing their involvement in China's military. The sanctions banned U.S. investments in those companies. When that happened, the McCormick campaign says Bridgewater ended the investments we mentioned. As for why the investments were made in those companies in the first place, the McCormick campaign told News 8 as CEO, McCormick did not play any direct role in Bridgewater's investment strategy and that it is the U.S. government's responsibility to ID what companies pose a threat to national security. The campaign went on to say private companies cannot make that determination on their own. Remember, we are continuing to fact check political ads from both parties in races up and down the ballot in November. Getting the facts, Matt Barcaro, WGAL News 8.